machine was a very weird looking machine. You could change the transport to be 8 millimeter, 16 or 35. And uh, we delivered it, I think, with all three transports. And the, uh, it was like a piano. You opened it up like a piano and the, the, uh, the CRT was, uh, you know, uh, I think the tube was horizontal, the, the, the base plate was, it was a large tube, not the small one, not as precise, but it was, I think it was horizontal is what I remember. And uh, so the whole, the whole thing was, I can't remember how it was organized physically, but, but what I remember is that this machine had legs like a piano, and there was a big heavy machine. And so we're putting it together and it's all done and we're going to ship it out and there's a truck and it's going to take it and it's going to arrive just in time and so on and so forth. And I'm standing next to the machine and uh, I see it's starting to fall over. Uh, one of the legs hadn't been attached right. And this is the thing we've worked on for almost a year. <laughs> it's about to fall and destroy itself. And I, I was standing right next to it and I grabbed it. And this thing weighed, I don't know, 500 pounds or something. And so the part I was holding was, uh, you know, it had two legs. And I was holding it for one leg. And finally when I, you know, someone else came quickly. And I, but I felt something go rip. <laughs> I got, turned out I had ripped the muscle right here. And I, so I had a big hernia. But it got to its destination. It worked fine. That was the PFR-1, and we were off and running. And that was that uh, episode. It was pretty horrific in various ways, but we made it. That was the first product delivery for III? The first product that III uh, delivered to someone, yeah. It was for sort of professional equipment, you know, that we built. And, uh, it was a kind of uh, giant scramble to get it. We, uh, we, for a lot of the time, you know, I, I just lived there. The company would come home on weekends. And, uh, yeah. So we'll make sure it doesn't escape the, the acronym PFR. Programmable Film Reader. Yeah, Programmable Film Reader. <laughs> so, it was all, and later on I had to go down to the Army base there and uh, in uh, New Mexico, Almogordo, and, uh, you know, uh, Stuart Nelson came on one of those trips. We had to go down, you know, software updates and make revisions and so on, meet the people. Hmm. Uh, and, uh, wow. That's quite a amazing beginning to a yeah. company that had such a major historical impact yeah. afterwards. It, uh, was, it was quite a thing because, you know, and that's why, you know, when, when we bought the DDP-24, uh, and I met Bob, I, uh, I uh, really wanted Bob to come to the company because I, you know, I, I felt I was very lucky that I got that thing done. I did a bunch of things and I just solved the problems that I could and so on, but I was not competent like someone like Bob or Gurley. I could do it, but I was doing it by, you know, it's sort of like if you were in an airliner and, and uh, you were the only one and the pilot and co-pilot died, you would sit down and work the controls and you might make it. Uh, but, you know, it's nice if you go up again, you might as well have a real pilot. <laughs> and so, uh, when I met Bob, uh, I thought, okay, you know, he's a guy who can, you know, he's like, he, he's, you he, Bob was very different than Gurley. Gurley was, um, you know, had different talents, but uh, Bob was so super competent, you know, and he could make things work. 
so that was wonderful. Seems like that whole experience gave you that much more respect for that that kind of expertise and that you wanted someone well, like Bob to yeah, be there. Yeah, and I had, you know, I, I've been very lucky in chance circumstance, you know. Uh, so one of my best friends was uh, John Cock, who was IBM's, you know, most most valuable computer designer, and um, he uh, he was a phenomenal designer. He was the master of complexity, and uh, he invented risk architecture, which is very, you know, basically it caused a revolution in computer architecture. And I, you know, the way he invented risk architecture is one day he said, I want to visit your company. So he came up to the mill in Maynard. And, uh, you know, there's the PDB-1 there, which you've never seen, you know. This is a guy who designed insanely complex for supercomputers, you know. And just, you'll like this. He, he designed a divide circuit, okay, for one of IBM's supercomputers, okay. It did an estimated, an 8-bit trial divisor, okay. But it couldn't do an 8-bit trial divisor and get the right trial. You normally do a 1-bit trial divisor in a divide circuit, and you do one bit at a time. You want to do 8 bits. And so what it did was it multiplied the thing by the 8-bit number.